Secretion can cause discomfort, making it difficult to breathe and may cause low oxygen levels. The accumulation of secretion promotes bacteria growth and thick secretion may also cause tracheostomy tube blockage. Regular suction and cleaning of the inner cannula helps to remove secretions and prevent the formation of mucus plug. Tracheostomy suction is a sterile procedure. You must wear sterile gloves and use a sterile catheter. Switch on the suction machine. Cover the tip of the suction tube with your finger. If you feel the suction pressure, the machine is functioning. Adjust the pressure to 80 to 120 mmHg. Measure the patient's SpO2, heart rate, and blood pressure. Ensure that the non-fenestrated inner cannula is in place. Do not perform suction with fenestrated inner cannula as the suction catheter will go through the large fenestrated hole and injure the patient's windpipe. Always wash your hands before touching the tracheostomy tube. Connect the catheter to the suction tube. Wear sterile gloves on your dominant hand. Hold the sterile catheter in the hand with the sterile gloves. Avoid contact with the non-sterile area. Disconnect the ventilator tube with non-sterile hand. Insert the catheter until resistance is felt and withdraw 1 to 2 cm. Apply suction and remove the catheter slowly in rotating motion. Repeat the suction process till secretion is cleared. If the catheter comes in contact with the non-sterile field, for example, skin, mouth, clothing, water or tissue paper, change to a new sterile catheter. Monitor SpO2 levels and heart rate during suction. Stop suctioning if the vital signs are unstable. Change the inner cannula after suctioning as secretion may stick on the wall of the inner cannula. Remove the inner cannula with one hand holding on to the flange to stabilize the tube. Replace it with a clean inner cannula. Clean the inner cannula with a track brush or soft tip straw brush under running water. Ensure complete removal of all crust and secretion stain. Rinse the inner cannula with cool bulk water. Leave the inner cannula to air dry thoroughly and keep it in a clean dry container with a lid. Perform oral suction if there is any secretion in the patient's mouth. Oral suction is a non-sterile procedure. Gently insert the suction catheter following the curve of the tongue. At about 10 to 15 cm, the suction catheter will reach the back of the throat. If the patient coughs and gags, stop suctioning. Apply suction and remove the catheter slowly. Repeat suction until secretion is cleared. At the end of suctioning, discard the dirty suction catheter. You may also use Yanka catheter for suctioning of the mouth. Yanka catheter is a firm plastic tube with a large opening at the bulbous head. It allows for effective suctioning without damaging surrounding tissues. Connect the Yanka catheter to the suction tube. Insert it into the patient's mouth and apply suction by covering the hole. Move the tip of the tube around the mouth to clear secretion. You may wash and reuse the Yanka catheter. Flush the tube by dipping the tip of the tube in cool bought water and suction till the tube is clean. Pour away the contents and wash the container. Thank you for watching. For more information, contact HVRSS or speak to your doctor today.